ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I want to go ahead and get the uh, steak quesadilla. The steak quesadilla, all right. With um, margarita. What kind of margarita? The regular. Regular rocks. 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 On the rocks. On the rocks. Yeah. Do you like salt? Yeah. Salt? All right. And you have like, what size do you have? We have the regular size or jumbo size? Let me do the jumbo. Jumbo? Yes. Rock with salt. And steak quesadilla. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh yeah, gotta celebrate with the jumbo. Yo, New York show me so much love. I'm just overwhelmed, you guys. I'm overwhelmed with just gratitude. I just finished my cap and gown photo shoot out in Central Park and I am amazed how much love New York has shown me it's just like seriously like okay so of course I took a lift from my place to Central Park right and I stepped outside my building and I had a feeling like I was gonna freaking turn some heads y'all so left and right like my neighbors was just shower me with congratulations that's great congratulations I was like oh my gosh like I'm walking from my building to like the um my lift, you know, wait in the street for my lift. And like, I just hear congratulations just coming from everywhere. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I feel so grateful. That's <laughs> crazy. One guy threw me the salute, which was like, and then another guy was like, hard work pays off, doesn't it? I'm just like, yeah, yeah. So I get in my lift, get to Central Park, and still, guys, like, I'm waiting on a photographer because I got there before he did and just left and right people were just stopping oh my gosh congratulations congratulations I was wearing, wearing my um my cap but I have it put away you guys already saw it I have it put away I was wearing my cap and like it was just oh my gosh was so much love my photographer was great I can't wait to get the pictures and show you guys the pictures I can't wait to see the pictures for myself I saw some of the pictures but I didn't see all of the pictures and he was great because he knew like all of the hot spots throughout the park i'm just like i'm glad i chose a very seasoned and knowledgeable photographer because he knows central park and he was just like let's go this way let's go that way i know this i know this landmark so like it was great we got a lot of different shots many different locations throughout central park i'm excited i should have my photos by next week he said by next tuesday so I am just in awe. I'm overwhelmed with just gratitude, like just taking it all in. Like so many people congratulated me today. I swear, even like okay, I'm in Harlem now because I gotta, you know, y'all gotta eat real good, right? And so even out here, like walking from, oh, you can feel the vibration of the train underground. It must be not that far underground. But like I'm walking from the train over here and just people are like congratulations girl. <laughs> I'm just like yo Oh my gosh It's just like oh my gosh It's so much love and it was funny because as I was walking through the park I was with my photographer and he was amazed to see how many people congratulated me right He was like because he does like photo shoots for like weddings too and he was like I never saw anyone get this many congratulations. I just like, yo, I'm amazed myself. <laughs> he said that he felt like he was with a celebrity. And I kind of felt like celebrity status, yo, walking through the park when I say, I can't even keep counting. If I was to count, I didn't even go live. Because he was like, oh, it would be nice if you were, were to record this. I was like, I thought about it, but then I'm like, nah, this is like a special moment. And it's just too much i was just taking it all in yo and like when i say like yo i turned freaking heads throughout that freaking park yo it was a lot of people outside though it was a lot of people at the park families it was people taking their photo shoots for weddings and different events and stuff and like all eyes is on me i'm just like i guess i do stand out i mean being a black woman in a doctoral cap and gown this is not a regular graduation. I mean, not not to diss people who graduate with bachelor's degrees, because I've been there, done that. But you know, graduating with a PhD, yo, that's major. People can recognize that because 
you know, the regalia is different. It stands out with the hood, you know, and then the cap is different. So people were just like in awe, you know, like people from all races congratulate me. Asian, white, Hispanic, black. I'm just like, this is too much. <laughs> I just kept saying thank you. I can't even keep, like, yo, I w if I had to count, I would say at least 100 people today say congratulations. It was just too much. And so I'm done now, and I'm, like, eating, and I'm going to head home because I take off this. It's too much. It's just too much, yo. It's like, I feel, I just feel blessed. I feel grateful. It's just the icing on the cake here and everyone congratulate me. It really made me reflect upon my accomplishments and all the hard work that I put in with this degree. And sometimes, like I've said before, like it's hard to sometimes just sit back and reflect, you know, on how far I've come and all the work I put in because the work never ends. It's more work, it's more things to do. It's, it's always more, you know. Like, I'm finishing up my last um, couple months of my internship, my pre-doc internship, and then from there, I'm going to go right into my postdoc. You know, I'm applying for licensure this year in a couple months. Like, I already downloaded the paperwork for that. Like, it's just everything one step after the next, so sometimes it's really hard to just take it all in. But I was just taking it all in today. I was just like, ah! <laughs> I was just taking it all in. Oh, so thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you, Sharonda. I appreciate you. Okay, okay. Who is you? Where are you from? Better not be no troll on my shit, And I'm hungry, so I did eat before I left my place to go do my photo shoot. I had an egg sandwich that I made for myself, but I'm hungry, y'all. Hungry, so and I chose to come to this place that I knew had really good food. They was not gonna let me down, so I am here and I'm celebrating by myself. Yeah, I'm about to uh, block this person because I just don't like trolls. I just don't. You don't know me to say you love me. Uh, it's just a lot of people just be counting my posts, just saying stupid stuff. But you know, I'm hungry, y'all. Please bring my food out ASAP, and they be pretty quick with the food too. The photographer was telling me about like different places, like restaurants that he's familiar with. I think he said he used to live in Harlem, and then now he lives in Brooklyn, somewhere in Brooklyn. I forget where. It is. I'm like, okay, okay. And we talked about grits. I'm just like, what you know about grits, y'all? What you know about grits? <laughs> Ooh, she brought up the margarita before. The, the, oh, the quesadillas are on the way, though, right? Yeah. Ooh, thank you. All right. Yo, I cannot touch this freaking margarita because I am hungry. I had got the jumbo. Jumbo with the salt around the rim. Like she asked me, I'm gonna salt. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> but yo, I love their um, chips and salsa because I think I don't know. I think they make these chips like homemade, like themselves. You know, it tastes very fresh. <laughs> Just good vibes. People were like stopping me in the park, like I'm a celebrity. Like, oh my gosh, they were like having conversations with me, like a whole drawn out conversation. It's like, oh, where'd you get your degree in? Oh, you live in New York? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's great, isn't it? Yes, I love New York. That's why I came back to New York. I'm talking about people shouting, like, people were in boats, right? <laughs> I think they're canoe boats, right? 
And they were shouting from the boat, congratulations, I look. And they're waving, I'm like, thank you. Like, yo, people shout all across the park just to wish me congratulations. I was just like, this shit is epic, yo. I'm just thankful. I'm thankful, you know, I'm humble. And even the um, my photographer, he mentioned that. I was just like, listen, I have to be humble, yo. My experiences in that program definitely humbled me. In a good way, I feel like. So, it's all good. It's funny, little kids are looking at me, talking to their parents, like, oh, what's that? And then the mother was like, she just graduated. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, it feels good to be like a role model to little kids. They're looking up at me. <laughs> Like, aww. I was once in your shoes many, many years ago. I took a lot of pictures, y'all. And that hour went by so fast. I was like, wow. Looked at my clock. I was like, wow. We met up like at 3, I think 3.15. We got done like at 4.15. And we got a lot of pictures. He's professional too with it. He's pretty good. He had different lenses. He was like switching out the lenses from like a wide lens to a different kind of lens. I'm like, what the heck is going on? But I had saw his moves. Yes. Yeah, thank you. I had saw some of his work before. That's how I chose to book him because he did a photo shoot for another recent doctoral graduate who graduated from Columbia University. And she was black. And the pictures were beautiful. And I'm just like, that turned out she booked him again. He was like, he just did her wedding photo shoot last week. She graduated with her um, doctoral degree last year and then a year later she got married he just got married her husband i think he said that she was jamaican and he was nigerian or something he made a joke about how it's interesting how like doctoral students you know obviously have booked him and then a year later they get married and he's like <laughs> yeah i don't know what these dudes these dudes, I, I, was not, I wouldn't say it's the dudes, it's me. It's me because I know that, like, I'm very selective. I come across so many guys on the same side and in person, and guys just be like, what's up? Like, right. I'm trying to. I'm right on my mouth so much. I'm so excited. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm about to, yo, these freaking, I love the way you make their face feel. My photographer, when I sent him my um, the payment, right, and I was making sure he got the transfer, the wire transfer, and he was like, yeah, I got it. He was like, I feel like I should be paying you because I feel like I was with a celebrity today. I was <laughs> like, you funny. Um, it's hilarious. I was like, no, I appreciate you for being my photographer. And I just like that he's knowledgeable. He's seasoned. He's a seasoned photographer. Um, what I get, I'm going to tell you. what I got. Oh, am I drinking? State quesadilla. So. Yo, this freaking, what do you call this? This um, margarita is so big. I remember like, I got this one time before. 
the last time I came here, I got this one time before, and I finished the entire one, and yo, one is all it takes. Woo, they trying to get me lit, yo, they trying to get your girl lit. I need to go somewhere and turn the freak up tonight, yo. The thing is, is like, I don't really be partying like that. But when I do, shit be going down. I be making some crazy decisions on it. I love coming out here in Harlem. I feel like I'm home. It's all over New York. I feel like home. Just like the universe love me it has to because ain't no way all those people who say congratulations to me just off a of GP like that like I feel like the universe sent those people like in my path because it's just crazy I'm like seriously all that it don't make no sense it's other people out there doing photo shoots like why aren't people congratulating people who are getting married and in wedding dresses and shit like people were like literally shouting congratulations <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Thank you. What's happening? I'm leveling up. That's what's happening. Listen, I'm ready for it. You know what I'm saying? So, let me tell you something because I know some of y'all been following me for a while. And of course, recently I have been sharing, you know, like pivotal moments in my life where, you know, I'm leveling up. Like, blessings are happening in my life and i'm sharing it with you guys and someone have a nerd to comment on my post talking about oh we tired of celebrating you it's just like okay i get it i get it right you over it by now i get it if you over it it's okay just step aside come back maybe later but i doubt it's gonna happen because i'm on the up and up y'all don't know me when i was down and out some of y'all do but I wasn't really on social media like that. When, like, back when I was in, um, back around, like, 2008, 2009, 10, 11, yo, shit was hard. I moved to New York in 2014, but before then, your girl was struggling. You hear me? Listen, I wrote a book about it. That's what prompted me to write my book, American Dreamer. So, when I'm on here and I'm celebrating these moments in my life why not just join in if y'all knew if y'all knew my story my backstory then maybe y'all understand some people do no some people don't much soul in Harlem. When I was in Cali, yeah. I mean, and I was in Cali, I was, I would say, I'm struggling. I mean, life can be a struggle, right? But, nah, that ain't, that wasn't a struggle. When I was in Cali, that was like easy breezy. I had some moments. I had some moments, but nah. I'm talking about before Cali, before I moved to New York in 2014. I had some moments too when I after I moved to New York and in my relationship. I did talk about that in one of my videos. About dating a narcissistic controlling dominant man. Talked about that relationship. It was look. We're not gonna we listen, we having a celebratory moment, we're not gonna go into that. But before I moved to New York in 2014, like, yo, yeah. I've been through some shit, bro. How's everything going? Now it's all right. Thank you. 
don't like when she's my waitress because she's good. I mean, all of them good, though. So they get good business. Yo, New York is back lit. Some people who used to claim that they were my friends or support me, like, people, like, sometimes they be jealous of your success or they look at you like they be envious of you, but they don't know how to deal with that envy. So they be like, oh, you changed or you acting all sadiddy. It's just people are supposed to change. You're supposed to level up. I don't treat nobody differently. I'm the, I treat people the same way. I've always been respectful towards people. So whatever people see in me, they say I've changed. Yeah, you're probably seeing the right thing. It is making you feel some kind of way. If you also leveled up though, and you see me level up, you shouldn't be threatened by my character. I ain't gonna stop. It's gonna keep rising, you know. Bet I can bet my last dollar on that. to it. You have people in New Jersey, Sharonda? What part of New Jersey? I mean, last time I was in New Jersey was back. When I was. 2018, I think. I'm just so overwhelmed with excitement. I'm just taking in the glory. New York, show up and show out. Just so much love. I just feel so blessed. It's like it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. I don't know how much they put in there, y'all. Seasoning, I don't make no sense. How good this food tastes. I was gonna get two types of these, but I don't need one. This steak is very filling. Be married by next year. I'm trying to speak it into existence. I'm just like, you better stop. <laughs> I think for older people though. Like older um, men. It's so relatable. I guess because like I see my dad in them. Me and my dad, we like this. Like, best buddies. So, when I come across, like, older men, like, my photographer, he had to be at least 60-something. He said he had retired from this. Uh, he was working for, I think he said the state. Working for the state as an engineer. He retired 
uh, last year. He got his PhD too. He was like, oh, look. You got your PhD? I got my PhD too. <laughs> Trying to speak it, and he's trying to speak that over my life. Trying to speak marriage over my life. Better be good marriage. The next guy I get into a relationship with, considering, considering, ask for this I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Trenton and Camden. Need to go to New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm in New York. project I'm about to work on is my book, My Autobiography of American Dreamer. But I want to, uh, I want to finish it at the public library. So I'm trying to figure out if they have it so that people can come in and like study and you know write things like that like sit down at a table I know that they have it where you can go to the public library here in New York and you can like use a computer I think for a limited amount of time I don't really want to use their computers though because I have my laptop so I wonder if I can do that because I just feel better just doing like typing at the public library sitting in you know their chairs and I can spend like maybe a week to tighten up my manuscripts. It's not going to take long. Once I get focused and I'm into it, into the groove, it's a wrap. And then I got to transfer my VHS tapes to DVD. You know, I'm about to like do a documentary. I got some things in store. You want a quesadilla? There you go. Open your mouth. Open up. <laughs> this is good. Now I'm a foodie, so I like to try new places. And ever since I stumbled across this place here in Harlem, never looked back. It's good. I'm gonna catch you guys later. I'm gonna finish this. I'm getting full. I don't know how I'm going to finish this. Yeah, see, I barely even touched the surface of that. I'll catch y'all later. Thanks for your support. Thanks, New York, for your support. I'm a lightweight. Oh, I'm a lightweight, y'all. I'm a lightweight. <laughs> I feel great. I just feel blessed. I'm just overwhelmed with joy and gratitude. And just curious to see what the next phase of my life is going to look like. It can only get better. Uh, I did accept a postdoc. I had to make a decision. I already made a decision. So. Hey, you know. But I'm going to catch y'all later. Love you guys. Adios.